Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. This evening we want to tell you a story about collusion, a real one, actual collusion that's currently in progress. There are no shadowy hackers or imaginary rendezvous in Prague in this story. There's not a single Russian spy or secret sex tape. There's nothing shadowy about the collusion we're going to tell you about. It takes place right out in the open on live television. This is a story about where your news comes from. This past Sunday afternoon, we learned that the Trump campaign did not collude with the government of Russia. That was the conclusion of Robert Mueller's investigation, an investigation that spent two years exhaustively looking into the question. This was very good news for America. We don't have a spy in the White House. But it was apocalyptic for the Democratic Party and their press agents in the news media. These are the people who had staked their reputations and their fortunes on the collusion hoax. And they were stunned. Befuddled politicians stammered on television trying to figure out what to say about the news. Viewers of liberal media outlets didn't want to hear anything about it. Huge numbers of them just quit watching immediately. Last night, CNN's 8 p.m. show lost nearly 50 percent of its viewers. For progressive channels, this was a catastrophe. Something had to be done. So into this disaster stepped the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. On Monday, just hours after the collusion story collapsed, Pelosi announced that the Democratic Party would be switching gears. Going forward, Democrats would focus intently on health care, just like she disingenuously claimed they always had. Madam Speaker, did the, did the Republicans help uh, Democrats shift the focus here from the investigations onto health care? We've never taken our focus away. Uh, I hope that it focuses the press on these issues. I hope the press focuses on health care, Pelosi said. She didn't have to ask twice. At CNN, they were paying close attention to every word Pelosi uttered. To Jeff Zucker and the anchors who work for him at CNN, Pelosi isn't just a politician. She's the leader of the party, their party, the party under whose banner Zucker has said he may someday run for office. When America's most powerful Democrat speaks, CNN listens with pen in hand. These are marching orders. And the network swung into action immediately. The rundowns of every primetime show were scrapped and rebuilt. Gone were the segments about office towers in Moscow and Carter Page's spying and Don Jr. going to prison. In their place, long editorials about health care. The Democratic health care plan is sensible and necessary, CNN told us. The Republican plan, cruel and heartless. Between 7 p.m. and midnight last night, Every show on CNN followed Nancy Pelosi's instructions. Every single show talked about health care, and every single one channeled Nancy Pelosi's views on health care. She could have been writing the scripts. Maybe she was. Nobody hit that topic harder than an anchor called Chris Cuomo. Cuomo was the son of the former Democratic governor of New York and the brother of the current Democratic governor of New York. He spends a lot of time telling you what a committed shoe-leather journalist he is, probably because his instincts are so obviously political. Last night, the governor's brother read his party's talking points as if off a cue card. Close your eyes as we play this and imagine you're listening to a 30-second attack ad on the radio during campaign season. See if you can tell the difference. Our president said today that the GOP will be known as the party of health care. But it seems to me he left out a word based on his administration's latest move with the ACA. The president will make his party about removing health care. This president and his party have no plan to provide care to tens of millions if the ACA is gone. Why, why, why? Welcome to the new normal. They're taking your health care away. If you're waiting to hear the paid for by the Kamala Harris for President Committee line, they left that out. They shouldn't have. The law requires it. But they did anyway. Don Lamont hosts the next show in CNN's lineup. As a person, Lamont isn't nearly as political as the governor's brother is. He's a local news guy at heart, the former weekend anchor at a station in Birmingham. He's not into policy. On the other hand, Don Lamont has a very sweet gig, and he knows it. So when Jeff Zucker calls and tells him to talk about health care, he does. And of course he did. The president says the GOP is going to be the party of health care. Then why is his Justice Department saying the Affordable Care Act should be struck down? The president has said again and again um, that he wanted to protect pre-existing conditions. Is this another, yet another lie from the president? Yet another lie on health care. At no point did any of the anchors on CNN yesterday mention what was so glaringly obvious. 
In the space of just 24 hours, that channel went from the Russia Conspiracy Network to an extended advertisement for the Affordable Care Act, as written by Barack Obama. The viewers, those who remained, must have wondered what the hell was going on. Where's my segment about how Don Jr. is going to prison? I want to hear more about that. But no. On Pelosi's orders, it was Health Care Week on CNN. And they were back at it this morning, assiduously. Starting at 6 a.m. today, every single show on CNN's morning lineup and all through the day regurgitated Pelosi's talking points to the word about health care. Republicans will make you sick. Only Democrats will make you well. Every single show made that point. If you were stuck in the airport, it was like living in North Korea. A speaker bolted to the wall above your head, blaring an endless loop of propaganda you can't turn off. Giving House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and congressional Democrats just the opening they needed. And it puts health care for millions of Americans in some level of uncertainty and also jeopardy. What would happen? I mean, what would happen? What would millions of Americans lose? Just, just to be clear, yeah. Republicans do not have a plan to replace Obamacare. The fate of health care for more than 20 million Americans insured through Obamacare and Medicaid expansion hangs in the balance. As of this moment, Republicans have not offered a single new alternative to Obamacare. Uh, some people characterizing this as a gift to Nancy Pelosi uh, going into this next 2020 election. Get rid of Obamacare, says the Trump administration. Okay, so what's the plan to replace it? We don't know, says the Trump administration. Simply repealing Obamacare without uh, Republicans coalescing behind an alternative would throw the health care system into chaos. That is laughable. You read my mind. I wanted to get you to respond to the president saying that, that we will have a plan. Um, laughable. Noted. Laughable. We have no idea what they've been showing over on CNN for the past four hours. We had to turn it off at 4 p.m. But if we had to guess, health care. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting word from our... Okay, we have... I'm sorry. We have a news alert now. According to our producers who are monitoring the situation, both CNN and MSNBC are talking about... That's right. Health care. Right now. Health care. Pelosi's orders. What does that tell you? It tells you where your news comes from. Democratic officials pick the topic and the storyline. Their servants in cable news dutifully repeat it to the word all day long. CNN is not a news outlet. It's a super PAC. It is running unregulated campaign ads 24 hours a day. Someone ought to call the FEC about it.